Carol with Carol B. Crafts. Today we're going to be doing card number two in my Sweetheart's online card class. If you'd like the details on how you can get the card kit for this class absolutely free, check out my blog www.carolbcrafts.com. Today we're going to be making this beautiful card with these roses and a sentiment that you can choose. The card kit that you're going to need is the one that has the small gold foil doily and you'll need your adhesive pack as well. We will be using our stamp set today, both sets of stamps. This is, comes as a one set, uh, one and two, and it's the petal palette stamps. We'll be using the rose and then your choice of sentiment. I'll be using thank you because I make lots of thank you cards for my customers, but you could fit in congratulations or best wishes or even from the heart or I just love you. Those are all fit in this little section here. Now I haven't put a sentiment on the inside, but you could have thank you for everything or you could use another stamp set or write in what you'd like to have in on the inside. Let's look and see what we have inside our packet. Inside your packet, you'll find everything you need uh, pre-cut and pre-scored for your convenience. And then your ribbon will be here. I always put the ribbon inside the envelope to keep it from getting wrinkled. And it seems to do the job. Inside there will be a tiny little gold heart it goes right here on our card and I will be explaining as I make the card I'll give all the dimensions and, and everything so that if you don't have the kit you can still make the card with me. I'm going to set this little heart aside so that I don't lose it hopefully and um, we'll take a look at what we have. So this is from the Painted with Love DSP. I'll put the number on the screen this piece of Painted with Love is four by five and one quarters, and it's kind of like a basket weave look to it, but it does have the gold in it as well. And then we'll have a piece of Melon Mambo cardstock that is three and one quarters by three and three quarters. That's going to go underneath our uh, sentiment and our rose stamp, and I give you two of the white whisper white panels in case you need one in case you make a mistake on your first one you always have the other two sides as well and these are three by three and a half so that will go there have that extra if we need it you have a small uh, metallic gold foil um, doily I'll put the number for those on the screen and you have two pieces of the 1 8 inch gold ribbon and I'll put the number for that on the screen as well as the dimensions. You have a piece that is 7 inches and a piece that is 8 inches. 8, eight inches for the bow and the 7 inches is for to go across our DSP like that. So the first thing we want to do is take our uh, base, our thick whisper white card base and find the valley facing us and fold away. Get our bone folder. We'll crease that fold so that it's ready for our top panel. Now our top panel is going to be the basket weave D DSP. At least I call it basket weave. Um, and again that's four by five and a quarter. Or you could use a different pattern uh, paper if you want. I think any of them would work with this card. Now you'll need a pencil and we're going to, if we, I'm going to decide that this is going to be my left side. So I want to mark on the back at the top and the bottom one quarter of an inch. And this is for my ribbon. Okay, so on the back, on the left side, one quarter of an inch from the edge, the top and bottom. And then I'm going to put my um, adhesive. My snail adhesive is going to go, I'm going to make like a one inch square right there by the mark. 
I'm going to get as close to the edge as I can. Okay, so I have my adhesive in place. Now I'm going to take the shorter of the two, which would be the 7 inch, and I'm going to wrap it around. I'll find my mark right there, and I'm going to put it on the inside of the mark. I could probably put a little bit more there, maybe like a 5 eighths or 3 quarters of an inch. Then I'm going to wrap it around the front, find my mark, and put it inside there. I'll check to see if there's any puckers. Doesn't seem to be any puckers, but it does seem to be wider down here. Let me move this over just a little bit. Okay, that looks good. Now it's ready to go. Well, actually, no, it's not because we need to put our doily on the edge as well. So we're going to take our doily, and you'll see that the little scallops in the middle of one of the scallops, top and bottom, you're just going to find it in the middle and fold it. Match them up on the sides like this. And um, I wouldn't use my bone folder. I would just use my fingers because the bone folder might scratch the surface. So next we're going to, so that's going to go, the top of this will be about an inch from the top of the paper. So on the back, where you think it's going to go, put a couple of strips of snail near the edge, bring it back around, Put it in the corner. <laughs> I have fumble fingers today. Put it where you think it's going to be and then just smash it down with the adhesive in the back. And then here in the front, you're going to come and put some adhesive on the doily itself. And I found that it's actually easier too as well to put a glue dot right here because um, it's kind of hard to get the snail there so how the glue dots work there's like five strips each strip has five glue dots on it so you find the one on the top so the if the one on the top doesn't have any glue dots it's just a cover okay so once you find which side is the top you'll reveal one glue dot at a time so here's my one glue dot and I didn't get quite where I wanted it. I want it up in that top part right there. Say, and then I can just uh, reveal the glue dots as I need them. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm just going to push it over. And it is ready to go on top of the front of our card. So we'll find the front of our card. Put our adhesive on the back. Make sure I get some on the ribbon. Now I tend to go a little crazy with the um, snail just because, especially the first top panel, because I want to make sure it stays on. And then I'm going to use a strip of, I call it waxy strip. It's from the glue dots, what's left over after you use the glue dots is just a piece of waxy strip. I'm going to um, use that as a barrier as I place it on my card front so that if I have any boo-boos I can uh, quickly fix them and it's also easier to get it per perfectly placed. And I push down on both those corners and pull it out. And then finish pushing it down. Okay, I think we're going to go ahead and do our stamping next. So we'll set this aside. Okay, so we're going to do our stamping now. And I have my piece of Whisper White, one of my pieces of Whisper White. And I'm going to put that on my uh, grid paper with just a tiny bit of snail to keep it in place because it is a smaller piece of paper. 
and I'll need my stamp a majig and this stamp is going to go on a D block but it's a little bit bigger than um, this the block but you can use it if you position it properly so um, I'm, I've got my D block longer this way than this way and I'm going to put it's kind of like an L shape I'm going to put it on here and I'm going to try to keep it so that the image itself stays over the block and you want this corner free because these two corners have to be free so that you can use your stamp imaging so no rubber sticking over the edges of these two and it's just a little bit tricky but it's it's doable okay I think I have it I'll test it and see because it's important that it doesn't stick over and interfere with your stamp on my jig okay I think yeah that's good okay so now we're ready to stamp now that's for the rows we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and do our um, sentiment first and we're going to put our sentiment at the bottom to the right depending on which sentiment you chose we we'll use our melon mambo and I will use my stamp on my jig for this ink up my stamp stamp down Okay, we have our thank you. I'll clean off my stamp, my uh, plastic sheet. Now we're ready for the rows. So I'll get my stamp on my jig out again, put it in the corner, get my rows. I'm going to make sure that this is clear. Now that's going to tell me where I can put my rose image. So now the L shape is going this way. And I want it about right there. Okay, now those areas where it kind of hangs over, I'm just going to take my finger and push on the edges of those or even on the stamp itself just to make sure it gets good coverage. Okay, it's done. Now it's ready to go on our panel. and I'll gently pull it off of the paper. Oops, pulled some of the paper up. That's okay. Okay, now it's ready to go on top of our uh, melon mambo. So we'll get our snail and put our snail on the back. Get my waxy strip. Now with this, we're going to put it not even on all sides. We're going to put it so that it's 1 16th of an inch from the top and the right side. We want it to be a little offset. And then also when we go to put it on our card, we want it to be a little offset as well. Now, it looks like I may have, I may need to push this up a little. It might, I may have put a little bit too much glue there. Lift that up with my, okay, there we go. 
now it's going in place. So it's about 3 eighths of an inch from the bottom here, almost touching the side there, and about 3 eighths of an inch from the top there. And it's just about to the top of our foil. But wherever you think you're going to like it, that's where you want to put it. And I will use my waxy strip again. So I'll place that. Well, better not put it past that corner. It's going to get stuck in the corner there. So I'm thinking that's about where I want it. Like I said, place it where you like it. I think that looks good right there. We'll get our little gold heart and our trusty piercing tool, which I love very much. I love my little piercing tool. And we're going to put that here in the corner where this leaf goes. We're just going to put it right there. And the last thing we have to do is the ribbon that goes, is going to go on top of our foil. Okay, next we're going to do the bow. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a different way than what I normally do. I normally do the two loops and cross and push, push it through. That can be a little confusing. So I have my ribbon here. I'm going to pick it up between these two, my forefinger and my thumb, and I'm going to make a loop with the tail closest to me. And that tail is going to be, in this case, about an inch, one and a quarter inches. But whatever length of tail you want, that's, that's what you want to use. Now this bottom... I'm going to bring it around, try to keep it flat, because you don't want your ribbon to twist. So you bring it around your thumb, like so. Just brought it around my thumb. And now I'm going to take this finger and push it through the hole where my thumb is and pull the two loops. And then, of course, you'll want to adjust it so that you get the right size loops for your, your bow. When you get the right size loops, and this is going to be a tiny, a smaller bow, so your loops are going to be about a half an inch to five eighths of an inch. So when you think that you have it to where you want it, and you've got it nice and tight, get your glue dots out and then just Pull back to reveal one of them, and on the back, attach your glue dot and pinch it. And then you're going to put it kind of in the middle of that solid area, but you don't want it hanging over the edge. Then you'll take your scissors and cut it most to where the doily ends. And now you have your bow. So now we have our two cards. Um, well, you'll have one card. I have the two. And hopefully you'll enjoy this. Um, I enjoy making these cards. And this is an easy card for you to replicate um, with different patterns, colors. And you could even do silver and do a different color. Uh, different. Instead of using the gold foil, you could use a silver foil and do a silver. Because the, the doilies come in silver and gold in one package. You get silver and gold doilies together, as well as the metallic shapes. Um, and I don't know if I gave you the number for the uh, metallic enamel shapes. Those come in gold and silver in a pack together as well. So if you see anything that you want to purchase today, um, go to my blog or my website, www.carolbcrafts.com, and make that purchase using the current host code, if your purchase exceeds $60 retail, that's before shipping and, hand, and uh, tax, then I will send you this kit absolutely free. So uh, if you have any questions, email me, carolbcrafts at hotmail.com. 
Have a great day and I'll see you for card number three. Bye-bye.